Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today, today is the final episode. So, I hope you guys are ready. So as you guys requested, I went ahead and made the Qatar. I know a lot of you guys were asking me to make this, so I went ahead and did. Um, of course, the main feature that this thing is gonna be used for is killing the Wither, as we can just use its AOE feature, which is just a hitting C. You need to make sure that it is set up correctly in your, make sure nothing is conflicting with it in your, uh, your options and controls. Um, yeah, because there, there was a couple of things that were conflicting. Um, and then if you hit V or shift V to uncharge V to charge, um, you'll get this thing loaded right up and get it ready to go. Um, but we don't really need to worry about that for right now. We're going to have to go after a couple more things as to finish up these last two quests. It's not going to be too much, right? We just need to kind of complete a couple of matter here and just get this matter. Uh, one of them is shulker matter, and I kind of wanted to take a look at that. So to make a shulker, uh, it's just an egg, and that will spawn a shulker. But we need to get a shulker shell, right? So we can spawn this. If we hit that, that um, completely, well, that just gave us a shulker shell, which is exactly what we need. Um, but yeah, you can see, we pretty much can kill anything, so any of these mobs that we come in contact with are just going to get completely wrecked. Uh, we will need, however, a few of these, and we're gonna have to make a bunch of data models. So I'm gonna go ahead and get each data model made here. The only thing that's gonna be hard, I think, is the gas matter, but we can actually get the gas uh, spawn eggs and we can get the, the gas tears. Those are made uh, pretty pretty simple. Um, and then I'm gonna finish up working on the wither. Uh, we, we have a few wither skulls, so we're gonna go after that today. And uh, we should be able to pull the rest of this stuff in and. and Pretty much get this thing going. Yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of just getting spawn eggs and making the the data models. So all we have to do now is get each of these things spawned in. I already have them all ready to go with all of their con their spawn eggs that are gonna go for these. And uh, these are the ones that we don't have mastered yet. So we're gonna have to get those above faulty. So I'm gonna start off with the zombie, witch, ghast, and blaze. And uh, we want these to be in our hot bar. The only weapon we really need is the guitar, as that thing is just going to completely wreck everything. Um, and we put this in our offhand, and we can just literally spawn a bunch of zombies here. Oh, we gotta make sure we kill them though. Just like that. So that is at basic tier, you can see there. Um, slimes, I think slime might be a little bit easier actually. Like, does that count as multiple slimes? Oh, wait. I didn't need the slime. We need... Just these these few. Uh-oh. All right. Witch. All right. Let's get you guys killed. All right. Two more to go. All right. Witch is dead. We got that one done. Ghast. Oh, boy. Let's place this next to our Qatar. Yeah, I knew I knew that was gonna happen. I should have guessed. I should have guessed that was gonna happen. Like we were gonna have some kind of explosion. Um. Yep. Yeah. Nice, nice guest. You're definitely not my friend. It takes a little bit of time, actually. But I mean, we eventually get it. We eventually get it. This we just don't want our whole base to be burning. All right, one more. Nice. <laughs> this is not what you want to see. Uh, this thing can also break blocks as well. It works as an axe. We'll have to fix our base. This is this is fine. This is fine. It's it's not like these could be any worse, right? Blaze. No, there's no way. Ah! I might have to make some more slime. All right, so that's that's done. Uh, let's swap to the slime. And other ones. So slime and shulker is the only ones left. Uh, will this... Let's see. It is, I don't think it has to be in your offhand. Just have, yep, okay. So yeah, that works. Nine to go. It's already a basic model. That was pretty simple. All right, and the last but not least is our shulker boxes. Oh boy. 
then I guess we could oh finish spawning these guys as well. Nice. That works. Very, very nice. So all we have to do is get some matter from these guys, which won't take very long at all. Um, so now that we have all the data models, we should be able to throw everything away, get everything going. Um, it should be pretty easy from this point, as we just need to go ahead and uh, yeah, get the pristine matter from both of these. So I'm going to work again in the pristine matter. It's going to take a bit of time. Until then, while I'm waiting for that to happen, let's go kill some of the uh, let's go kill some uh, wither skeletons and, and get that thing up to up to par or withers I think that's gonna be the, the best thing to do so now that we're here I guess we could build a few of these up um, and yeah we're gonna need uh, what six of them so I think what well, we should spawn six of them all at once oh yeah one two three four five six I think this is this is gonna be worth it we should be able to do six at once I hope this I hope this works <laughs> if it doesn't well we could all say we failed and uh, move on with our life but I think I think we're, I think we're gonna get this I think with the guitar we're good all right so uh, we need to hurry I have the thing in here um there we go and we just let them explode and uh, we're gonna probably chase them down but uh, the guitar should be able to kill them in one shot yep all right there's one there's those and we have this guy over here that was pretty simple that didn't take too much time at all um we do have a lot of stars that are all over the place i probably want to pick those up yep and uh yeah this just kills enderman like it's nobody's business by the way oh yeah we definitely have some stars to pick up we should have five that's uh, six there we go perfect the only thing really left to do is to pull the withered data model out as you can see i've already gotten everything ready to go it's the exact same process that i'm working on here i let this happen this takes a bit of time and should produce yeah we're, we just don't have enough power getting to this thing but that's fine um i the dragon one gave me one in about three but of course this thing is self-aware <laughs> because of what we were able to do uh, but this thing should give us one within 10 maybe polymer clay it actually doesn't take too much polymer clay in order to get one of these so i just stopped them as soon as we got it. Look at that. There we go. I can stop this now because we don't need that anymore. And uh, we can just sort of dump this. And there we go. We have the last bit. Uh, now, there's a couple more things that we're going to have to do. But the majority of this is just to throw these in here. All of these need to be processed down. And they're going to turn into a specific type of material. Yeah. All of these. And uh, this is going to be something new that we're going to end up learning. All these different uh, chemicals and stuff. Or not chemicals, elements. What is wrong with me today? Uh, we're, we're learning new elements uh, from all of these different uh, different things. So yeah, that was it. So we just learned a bunch of new elements. Um, and now we should be able to take those and uh, use them to make each of the bricks uh, that are going to be required. Or ingots that's going to be required for this. Um, that was the, the hard part. Uh, the only other thing, so this one has its own different, uh, material that it's requiring. We have titanium, but it requires stellar alloy. Uh, the other one, which is a whole nother machine in itself does not, it's just basically just very simple. This one's actually way cheaper than, uh, the other, uh, fission controller. Um, but this fission controller is the expensive one. We need to get stellar alloy. Uh, that's literally just a process. Uh, I think we can make melodic alloy, popped chorus fruit, and instill, dark steel, uh, we should have, and dimensional blend. Dimensional blend, crushed in stone. Like, it should be something we have. In stone. And, uh, we just crush it up. I mean, that's pretty much what it seems like this is, uh, this is doing. So we crush up a little bit of in stone. Let's take this out. There we go. Make the dimensional blend. That should get us that ingot pretty quickly. And uh, dark steel. Let's take let's just take a look at stellar alloy in itself. Right. So dark steel on its way. I'm gonna do it with the alloy furnace because I think it's gonna require less materials. Um, the end steel, yeah, is just dimensional blend of dark steel. And I think we have one dark steel. Wow. 
Lucky us. Alloy furnace. Throw that in there. We don't need any more of that. And we blend that. Add that with a chorus fruit. A popped chorus fruit, actually. Um, where is our furnace? It is over here, isn't it? Let's see. One chorus fruit coming up that is popped. Put this in smelt mode. Popped chorus fruit. Same over here. Like, this is just how to make this alloy. And uh, we're only going to need it for this. Melodic and Melodic with another star. Very simple. We have our... <laughs> it feels like a sin doing it inside the nuclear craft. Uh, because it's Ender I.O. But still, we have it. We actually got two of them. That's perfect. We pretty much have everything we need, right? Uh, so, we need to mark this as the thing to build. And these all have multi-blocks that surround them. And we have these. Uh, so, the, these two things require multi-blocks in order to process. Um, but I'm just going to have to pull out all these resources and pretty much convert them over. That's exactly what's going to have to happen. Um, so that's going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to go ahead and get these all these different materials, that which we've already gathered. I'm going to go ahead and get them and turn them into ingot form. And then we're going to build this thing. And uh, get this multi-block put together. Ah, I forgot one of them. That was the creeper matter. Ah, but I already had the uh, creeper data model uh, already done. So I actually had some of these inside my system, which was nice. Which gets some, gets us the, uh, the noblium. Pretty nice. So here are all of the different elements in their ingot form. Ready to go. I guess you'd say they're solid. I, <laughs> I don't even know how that's, that's supposed to work. Um, but we do need a couple other things like two fading matter. It's kind of crazy that we're setting at the trillion mark. I kind of like that they changed how this uh, is actually written out. I like that. I like that it actually says the, the word trillion. Um, and it's kind of decimal here. So we have the fading matter and we're going to need glass. I think I have some glass just stored in here. There's our fission controller. And there's the other one. Nice. So we have both fission controllers completed. Right? I still, yeah, it's sitting at 99% complete. I don't exactly know why it's at 99% complete, and yeah, I've completed everything. Unless it's the graphite, I need to do at least once. Yeah, I think the graphite, I need to do at least once. And then I think we've completed it. Um, graphite would be coal. Like, literally, I think. <laughs> graphite, I'm pretty sure I've made this. Coal, yeah, I have. I definitely have. Take crushed coal, and uh, we just smelt that down. Correct? Smelting, oh, that's graphite dust. Graphite dust, manufactory, crushed coal. So crushed, crushed coal, again, will give us graphite dust. Yeah, I've definitely done this. It's like I've done so many different steps that you totally forget it, what you have and have not done. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing. we ha I haven't done one repeatable once for this, so it hasn't actually unlocked, I don't think, because there's the reward to claim. We'll see. Then that might put this put us at 100% here. We need, like, 16 for this to complete that. Wow, that is going really fast because of this back here. Okay. Let's finish this. And is that 100%? No, it's not. I wonder if there's like a hidden one because we haven't built it, if that's the case. If anything, I still want to build the reactors, or a bit, yeah, I want to build um, these things. So there's a fission and a fusion controller. I was saying these wrong. Fission and, and fusion. Let's go and get these multi-blocks built up and uh, talk about them. So after getting everything needed for this, as you can see right here, these are the, the things we are going to need. Um, I'm pretty sure it is 98 blocks or whatever. Uh, for the fission casting. So we ended up getting just enough blocks. And then you also need a fission core and a fusion core for both of these two things to be able to function. They are quite large. Uh, they're about a 5x5 five five multi-block. And uh, yeah, they, they are going to require something to build. It might be a little bit of com uh, confusing because you're going to be like, well, how do I build it? Uh, I just had to look it up. Uh, I pretty much had to, yeah, I did my research and uh, found out kind of how to build it. So we're going to, we're going to see... If this works, um, I hope it does. 
I'm going to remove these for now. I don't want to lose them. I just want to remove them. Um, I can even remove you. And uh, sleeping would probably be a good idea. I think if we uh, slept the night away, <laughs> we wanted to worry about darkness. But yeah, we are going to have to uh, build these things. And keep in mind how big they actually are. Uh, they are quite large. So they're five by five. One, two, three, four, five. So we should be able to build it here. And I should be able to place the controller here. There's this one. Uh, keeping in mind that it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Leaving one block space and one, two, three. And then right here is where we're going to place this guy. All right. So the whole thing needs to be built on a bottom platform here. I don't think this goes underground. I don't think those electrical cables, by the way, are going to connect to this. But it does need to be a little bit like this. And basically on the inside is going to be, we need to make sure we're using the right things. This is going to be the fission core is going to go in the center. And then we'll pick this right back up, building around this thing. I don't know if it's hollow. We'll find out if we run out of blocks. I just know how many blocks. Uh, because there's a patchouli um, guide for this, it's just not in this pack. Um, there is support for it, so uh, that's the only thing. There was a couple of screenshots that I was managed to find, or managed found, managed to find, if I can speak right, uh, that had that uh, information on it. So let's see, are we going to run out? Yeah, I think... Yeah, it, it is hollow. It is hollow just like this. That should be a multi-block. And it is good, because otherwise it'll say invalid uh, fusion or fission multi-block. So this multi-block is complete. The only thing it needs is some power, and we should be able to get it up and running. Now this thing, as well, is going to be built exactly the same way. Uh, but keep in mind, there are the differences between cores. This is a fusion core, the other one is a fission core. Fission, fusion. I know, it's, it's kind of confusing, but uh, it's all the same. No, no, it's definitely not. So now with both of these done, what do we do with them, you might ask? Um, I I actually haven't thought about that. Um, do we take, like, chemicals and break them down or something? Like, what happens if we do this? No explosions. Okay, so we're getting other chemicals from this. What if we... Throw, I guess we, we would put this to combine them, right? Something like that? We have fission... And fusion. So fusion would be the combined things. Fission would be to separate. That totally makes sense. Um, but I mean, we should have pretty much all chemicals. We're going to find out our elements. We should find out. I'm going to have to go through each and every one of these and pull them all out of the, uh, the EMC table. So wish me luck. This is not something that you want to see on camera. Believe me, this is going to take a long time. But I do want to get this completed. As I want to see if there's anything left over, and maybe there's something here that we need to get through this method. I just want to see if that's the case. Otherwise, we've pretty much beat the pack. Yeah. Kind of cool. I just realized that some of the chemical, or some of the elements here, you get actually get from the matter. I didn't know that was a thing. So yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely get some stuff out of these. We're going to see what blocks everything or what but yeah it gives you a lot of carbon that's for sure wow a lot of new a lot of new elements but yeah this i was i noticed that as we were going through i i still don't know i don't know i, I I'll, I'll tell you if there was anything else i noticed that's kind of funky so as you can see most of this is done um the only thing i didn't have was a spider uh matter so i had to get that and the skeleton pristine matter and that was the only ones that i really had to worry about getting um, also, I had to make some purr, purr which was pretty easy. We had some coarse fruit, so that wasn't too difficult there either. Um, and then helium is something that we're going to have to make. Um, but here are all the different things that we have to make using this up there. And uh, I guess we have some we have some friends. We have some lovely friends. Good thing we can just completely destroy them. Um, so, yes, we're going to have to use these two things to make the rest of these. Now... The way this works is it says all elements except hydrogen can be created with the fusion multi-block. This is this will tell you whether or not you're going to be using fusion or it's going to come from fission. It should be all fusion for the most part for all of these. Um, but it says the multi-block accepts two elements as input and fuses them together to create a new element 
equal to the sum of their atomic numbers. Okay, so each of these have an atomic number, and you can see that right beside it is the atomic number, uh, where it says uh, AC eight, like 89 on this one, and then AC 87 on this one. We have to combine elements to be able to equal that number. So two elements like 70 and 68, those two numbers together would equate to a specific element. So we're gonna have to do that for each one. So we're gonna need uh, two elements that equal 91. And I have to do that for each of them. And uh, hopefully I can get the combinations. Helium should be pretty easy. Uh, that could be our first one we do. Um, as helium should be the easiest. I think that's oxygen. Let's see. Or is it hydrogen? Hydrogen is this. So two hydrogen in here should equal helium. So that's exactly what we have to do. I hope that was uh, easy to understand is the fact that we needed helium. And we pull up helium and then we can now just spam our inventory and complete helium. I'm gonna have to do that for each one and uh, it shouldn't take too long, but we should be able to complete the rest of this and we'll have all the check marks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of them made and have them in my inventory. And uh, yeah, we're gonna complete this ourselves. We're gonna finish this pack. We're almost done. So just a quick, easy way to do this, potentially could be just to hit the use and see what the use of the item is. And you can go here and you can actually kind of see what the use case is. And you do the opposite of this in the fission, because this would be what it breaks down fission wise. Basically, it'll break the parts in two. Um, yeah, you take these two numbers or these two uh, different things and it will create this in the fusion. Um, so that's pretty easy. I mean, if you just right click on the item and go to fission, it'll tell you what you basically need to get. For, yeah, if you, if you if you don't want to do it yourself, I mean you can use any combination of things. Um, if something has sixty and you need sixty one, you could do the element that has sixty, and then combine it with hydrogen, which is one, and it'll still work. Uh, but this is a way of potentially doing this a little bit faster. So after a little bit of time, pretty much everything here combined just fine by using whatever recipe was showing on how to make it using the fission block. Um, so it actually worked pretty well. And I was able to get all of these guys from our fusion. Pretty cool. Um, now I have to do the hard part, and that is, yeah, dump, a, yeah, dump a bunch of them into the system. Yeah, that's the only part I have left to do. And uh, we almost have the periodical table complete. I'm kind of excited. There we go. Periodical table was completed. I, yeah, the, I hit the thing. I thought I was gonna be able to collect the rewards and then it goes off, but it goes off as I'm, I submitted my last bit. Nice. I mean, that's that's the whole periodical table complete. Now this is stuck at 99%. So I, I lose the satisfaction of hearing that lovely, like you've completed it noise. I mean, I completed everything, right? I completed all of this stuff. Everything is done. There's no check marks left. Right? Oh! The last thing is to complete the periodical table. We beat it! That was it! We did it. So you had to unlock the periodical table and then we completed the main quest. Guys, we have officially beaten the pack. I am super, super hyped about that. You guys are like, oh, but you didn't do all of the Project E stuff. Ah, well, we ain't gotta do all of that. I've done it so many times in other packs. We don't have to go through all the Project E. I do, however, want to look at just one thing. There was like uh, this right here, the Argon. I, I want to see, what does this look like? Argon. I want to see what these Argon lights look like because like, are they pretty, are they pretty snazzy? Ooh. Those are kind of cool. I kind of like these. So yeah, if I ever play a pack again with these, I'm definitely making Argon lamps. That looks so cool. By the way, if you want to know how much money we ended up with, seven million. Oh boy. Yeah, it was, I mean, pretty nice. This is a pretty like laid back pack. 
Uh, I absolutely enjoyed it. It was really, really fun. Um, and if you want to play this for yourself, I recommend downloading it. The link has always been down in the description below. Um, I always link down to the uh, the mod packs, always in the description, um, and support the uh, the creators. That's what this is all about. I, I really do like promoting um, new mod packs, and uh, you know, like this was for 112, but the future of mod packs is going to be moving into the newer updates. So uh, maybe next pack we might do an updated pack. I don't know. It all depends. Um, I don't think 114 is still just ready, and 115 is actually about just about to be released as the time of this video. So. I don't know, some things going on. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Please stick around and follow for the next one. If you haven't subscribed already, I highly recommend doing so, as I do publish content all the time for you guys. Um, I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.